Hey ladies and gents, we're in Brussels car show for the first time. Behind me is the new Rob in GR package, so we're gonna check it out. This is also the facelift for the new infotainment and digital cockpit. Without further ado, let's just jump into the review. Here's the first look of the new RAV4 plug-in hybrid in GR package. So sport package, sport looking RAV4. Have the red color here with black details. Uh, there's another one white. I'm gonna show you at the end of the video. So let's come a little bit closer, check it out. So on this model, we have the upgraded uh, LED headlights. You have the data running lights on the top. You have the LED lens. Uh, in the US, you would have an orange uh, or amber reflector there. The strikes here, we're gonna turn on the lights later. We have the uh, red uh, metallic color. Looks beautiful, washer on the top, piano black details and LED fog lights, parking sensors integrated. We also have this uh, bottom in piano black and a little uh, silver just to uh, make some contrast. Also piano black uh, arches and side skirt. A little air intake on the bottom and bigger one on the top. Uh, so you have red and black integrated parking sensors there. Uh, wide lens camera for 360 parking toyota badge uh, is for the radar uh, no blue color so that's interesting and um, yeah we also have of course the gr badge uh, that's new uh, backing up here while we have more room uh, gorgeous looking suv especially in the sport package checking the alloys uh, i gotta say these are not my personal taste but uh, we all have different tastes so these are some sort of black with some sort of small gray finish uh, there and these are uh, it's upside down but 235 55 r19 if i'm not mistaken came on bridgestone tires uh, i'm gonna check the spec later so plug in hybrid um, so plug in not just hybrid it's a plug in uh, you can see here uh, metallic black uh, contrasting side mirrors and top roof so we have that nice blue flakes inside turn signal and another white uh, lens camera would be a uh, bottle light there uh, a pillar in gorgeous black uh, now we can see the heated one shield reflecting on those lights uh, at night it looks horrible and very expensive you need to replace so uh, uh, take insurance for that uh, speakers there heads up display and Airbins there. Uh, lane assist camera, light and rain sensor. Moving to the top, we have piano black roof racks. They're slim. This is piano black, and then we have the panel roof that's tinted. A little bit of dust on the top. They've missed, and over here, shark fin. Spoiler is kind of extending from the body. You can also see uh, spoiler is painted black. So this is piano black, and this is not metallic, but I don't know, it looks kind of bluish, dark blue. Uh, let's show you the profile of the car looking very nice in this black and red combo tinted rear windows you can see another look of the alloys on the back uh, this is locked from the inside and of course classical uh, RAV4 taillights uh, these are LED uh, RAV4 signature there and uh, at the bottom they're also black theme for the sport package uh, different diffuser again a little contrasting silver and we have this uh well tips this looks like just an add-on that makes it look a little bit more sporty with the wider tips but you can see the real one there uh cat eyes there and i like the fact that the rev number four here in the badge is black also kind of suits the theme there we have the white led license plates back in camera also black badge and you can press here to open and then on the back gr sport badge with a plug-in hybrid and all wheel drive i stoplight on the top and another look here at uh, the car looks very nice and sporty with this exhaust uh, tips so here would be your type 2 for the AC is charging, uh, so you can hook this there so it doesn't flop down. But this is kind of plastic key edge here, and then this is rubberized. Actually, no, it's plastic. No, it bends, so some sort of really hard rubber. And there you can see your Type 2 AC charging there. 
Uh, let's open the cargo space. We're back up here, you can see the whole car. There's a little room now. So this is the height, fairly uh, tall. I'm a two meter tall person. You can see that is fairly tall. Uh, having in mind these are, uh, this is a Japanese brand. Uh, you can manually uh, lower this and then hold to memorize the height. Uh, you can press here to close. Uh, wow, now that's interesting. There's a camera here that I didn't notice. So I'm wondering if this is for helping you to back up. Uh, it's playing on the top as you can see here. And uh, we have a shelf here, so you need to pull this one. This is kind of some sort of rubberized cloth. You can see the mechanism there. You have to pull it towards yourself and then release it so it closes up. Now if I back up here, there's a shelf here, so uh, step, excuse me. Uh, so I'm a little bit taller here. But right over my arm, you can see very practical cargo space. Uh, you get this Rev plug-in hybrid like rubber mat. So it has two parts so you can do that. So underneath it's carpet, it's nice, nice flat bottom. So you can sit here if you're covered, if you need to change, if you're camping. And uh, let's check. So the right side, you have extra room there. You have a full outlet and a uh, 220 volt or 150 watt outlet there Shuko have the uh, cold light on the left and on the right side it's plain you have the JBL uh, speaking for the base and you can see that so let's just open up here so there is some room for uh, charging cables there's your uh, relay fuse and there seems to be a little bit more space over there, you can see. Uh, but the, this is in the way. Now this is a tight fit. Uh, looks practical, we have tether points there and there, all four sides. And seats knocked down 60-40. There's a little spring for this. So it kind of, uh, actually there is, excuse me. It was just reviewing Corolla, it had that, this doesn't. You can push this in and remove uh, this if you want and you can see that the seats can tilt so you can see the difference there and then if i release the seat and let it knock down you can also see the length so that is almost fully flat um yeah let's close it up actually let me just not forget to close the shade here so it's easier with two hands there we go Pressing close. I hope the music in the background is not going to give me a copyright strike. It is a little bit loud, but I hope you can hear me. So the vacuum camera is there. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it because of the reflection. So that's interesting. And interesting details on the roof here for IR Dynamics. Nice big tall windows. And in this model, you have a black and a little chrome on the top. Opening and closing sound, very solid. Uh, Rav, not sure, not sure if you heard it the first time. Excellent top sound. Uh, so, checking here, you can see that when it's down, nice and flat. I have a seatbelt aligner, so it's not in the way, but this is kind of big and bulky. I'm not sure if this was necessary. Uh, you can see here, if you unlock that, it doesn't automatically push, you have to use your uh, own force but you can also tilt this that's how it looks back to the doors uh, they could open a little bit wider but shouldn't be a problem to put a child seat on the rear if you have kids checking the seals on the top good seals going around even here uh, and the doors go all the way down so when you're washing there won't be water residue on the step at least not too much um, Roman 5 here means this is a factory tint and uh, this is nicely softly padded wood leather all the way to the elbow area. This is hard, but it's also imitating leather. Have some silver contrast stitching, big handles. You can push in here to lock, power windows, fully automatic, I believe, and heated uh, seats. Rav4 signature speaker there and kind of decent bottle area there. Coming down here, uh, we have nice leather has a little texture to it 
also contrast staging and beautiful Alcantara, I mean, my personal favorite. Have the uh, uncovered isofix points there. And I showed you knocking down the seat. You can see the top roof, how it looks. Let's jump inside. So uh, I've adjusted the front seat for myself. I'm a two meter tall person. You can see plenty of feet room. Uh, I just fit here with my knees. But if a shorter person was sitting on the front, there would be uh, even more room. Leather seats, big uh, pockets there. You can see the air vents on the rear finally. And over here, I'm saying finally, uh, my girlfriend's family has a, uh, a generation before this one. And two USB-Cs for fast charging. Very practical. Uh, wide transmission tunnel and not too tall, but it's covered with this plastic so it's not gonna be easy to clean though unlike the carpet but it is what it is this is nice and soft the seats are nice and wide uh, they look very comfy you can of course adjust the you press there you can adjust the headrest nice and big tall windows uh, one in the C pillar good overview on the rear and you have the cold lights there all four sides uh, kind of fast closing handles, but you have those uh, hooks there, nothing in the B pillar. Seat belts is adjusted on the front, and you can adjust the front headrest, of course. Let's hear the closing sound. Good closing sound from Toyota, and uh, this is also very nice. You have this rubberized, so it's nice and sturdy. Everything is high quality built. And look at this, they've uh, covered the color of the vehicle inside. I like that. It looks Pretty good and i like like the fact that this is a nice very practical spacious family car and you have nice big windows a lot of light and uh even more with this optional panda roof now headspace two meter tall person excellent headspace as you can see i can relax i can straighten up my back uh, my neck no uh pain problems for a tall person so approved for a two meter tall person and uh despite the glass roof there's enough headroom here and uh, a little bit more in the inside now uh, to come to the front so let's uh, come to the front and check it out so there's also blind spot warning in the mirror uh, but no auto dimming there is a puddle light and a camera on it uh, you can see here the uh, physical cylinder for the key this is for the driver and uh, in case your 12 volt battery depletes, there is here a touch uh, control on the front for the keyless entry. Now, good closing and opening sound doors also, of course, go all the way down. Same seals, uh, same materials, nice and soft. You have a window in the A pillar. Uh, and hmm, so this dent here suggests that this is only front driver and fully automatic. I hope that's not the case maybe just for the driver to feel like not to miss uh, the, maybe the front one because I really hate when car manufacturers save money on automatic closing when you push it once it has to go all the way down so you don't hold it and uh, vice versa for the up uh, and here you can of course fold them in electronically adjust the side mirrors uh, you can lock or unlock and lock here for the kids same here on the torque handle and two uh, memory positions for the seats uh, good uh, ball area maybe plasticky though and uh, also nice speaker wrap so no chrome just black it looks nice and stealthy uh, here you have the tire pressure and tire dimension and then checking here we have the GR carpets um, no aluminium sport battles on a sport package okay and have the uh, button to open the fuel cap so it's on this end so I'm gonna show it to you uh, when you open this up you put it here so it doesn't flop here and scratch your clear coat and um, so uh, I don't see the recommended run but it's a petrol and moving to the seats back and forward uh, tilt lumbar and yeah that's it uh, beautiful leather feels like a real leather you can see some shading on it uh, 
beautiful Alcantara, nice cushions, uh, big bolsters, bigger on the top. It's nice Alcantara on the top, very supportive and adjustable headrest for the sport seats, but with the GR emblem there. So you have here a nice little rubberized space. You can put maybe something here like a garage opener. Um, steering column is manual with sport panels. And over here you have a blank, you have an automatic long beam, front heated windshield, uh, 360 view I guess, heated steering wheel, odometer reset, and open or close from the driver position. There is a little light there, so that's also cool. And uh, view at the top before I jump in. Okay, let's close it up. Doors are heavy, but it has a good closing sound and good, good soundproof. Now the seat is a little bit uh, tall. Now, let me see if I can lower myself. Actually, I don't think there's a need to lower myself. I, actually, this is the lowest position. It, it feels high. So, but this is a good thing because you have a better overview. I'm gonna switch to the wide lens. There we go. So this is sort of my eye level. I can see the hood there and it feels, you know, safe when you have something in front of you and I love it. Now, uh, there's a big mirror there, and I think this display looks um, different from the one I saw the last time. So we're gonna check that out. And uh, again, physical controls. Uh, this is a bit too far. Now, um, in Japan, where Toyota is being produced, uh, they have right-hand drive, not left-hand drive. So for them, uh, this makes more sense because it's supposed to be here, but they didn't mirror it uh, for the um, you know, uh, left-hand drive. Anyways, zooming back in. So steering wheel, uh, it's the same from the previous gen, I believe. Uh, nice horn, it's rubberized here. Uh, nice texture on the leather, and it's a three-spoke, no piano black, nice GR symbol there, and there's like a little gray finish in there. Uh, you have the volume, uh, voice commands, phone calls, uh, infotainment options for the virtual or digital cockpit, return button, radar, uh, lane, cruise, and uh, so on. Sport paddles, not here, at the bottom here you press like that. Uh, light switch, you should put it on automatic, but in this case they've used the tape, and over here you can see the uh, wiper controls. Um, this is softly padded, covered with leather, this air vents are, you know, Classical uh, gray finish, no piano black like that. This is all soft. There's an airbag blowing there. Uh, this, there's a speaker there, and here the JBL in the A pillar. Uh, this is a good thing. You have that small window to see better pedestrians, so the A pillar is not blocking your view. And you have the airbags there. Uh, I don't think there was any speaker behind the screen, as far as I remember. You have a gorgeous big and wide screen. Uh, JPL signature there, and then we have this uh, beautiful knob that's rubberized. Uh, on the bottom we have the hazards. Unfortunately, you cannot see them for the driver perspective in the mirrors, like that option. And classical air vents, this is all nice uh, touch. And then hard plastic there. This is plasticky, but you have a shelf there. And while I'm at it, there is a key opening there for everything in today's cars. Uh, this is plain plastic, but very decent space. Now we have the start stop. I'm gonna turn that in a moment. And this is very nice physical controls. Automatic, off, dual, AC, front blow, rear defrost, eco fast and medium, fan speed. And we have here the fan direction, close or open air direction. And so on, uh, traction on or off. Blank, uh, low and high for the heating, airbag information there, full outlet and a USB-A. And then we have the QOI, uh, there's a little button for wireless charging. No piano black here, there's a lot of light, but you can see this. Uh, there's electronic parking brake, auto hold, uh, EV or hybrid, I guess, hybrid EV charge hold, uh, Eco Sport push, uh, normal trail and then there's a little button uh, that you press to release 
So park reverse neutral drive and electronics to this port. Um, moving on, we have also beautiful gray, so no piano black. Uh, I'm emphasizing that because in the Corolla they did use some. So, And this is all plain plastic, not rubberized, but also not a problem to clean and adjustable. Now, Armas is soft. There is this mechanism you press. There's a little shelf here, and if you remove it, you can see a big space here, two USB-Cs. So this is a little bit harder in Corolla. I was just very flimsy in, but this, this doesn't move as much. And then let's go back into there, so you can put the keys or parking cars there. And another look at the seats, very comfortable. I love them. Uh, of course, you can adjust the headrest there. Uh, I showed you everything and just to wrap it up on the top you have the uh, auto dimming on the mirror there so good overview on the rear let me just adjust this for myself yeah you have a nice big tall window and over here uh, you have oh so you have this so I'm actually supposed to be like let's see here like this so you can manually put it down but there is a little buttons here so we're gonna change uh, ch check this out. I think there might be a display behind uh, link to that camera uh, behind Now moving on to the top You have the white LEDs uh, You have the cover for the emergency. You have the uh, shade electronic and opening of the glass roof uh, And over here we have this is supposed to be closed So the light is off and turns on when you unlock or open the privacy mirror now, uh, this is cloth, this is kind of rubberized material, this is not covered and it does not extend. And, of course, to check the headspace on the front, plenty of headroom. Now, to finally uh, press that power button once and twice to turn on the infotainment there. You can see the blind spot, you can see the Toyota. Now, there's going to be a message not ready, I cannot remove it, uh, and some things it's tied to the uh, 12 volt battery now over here um, apparently you have to always press this and I say I agree now we're in Brussels and yes this is the new infotainment so this is the facelift ah okay I'm gonna cover all of it so there is a dark theme and I was in a Corolla it's gonna be separate review the new Corolla facelift had a white theme so I thought I saw somewhere but they didn't figure out where to change it uh, so here you have the points of interest, um, display options, and that's the map. It's very, um, look at this, um, very, very responsive, uh, and I like it. It has a new fast processor, uh, volume, so let me just see if I can show you a little, no, um, let's do something. I can't play the music for too long not to get a copyright strike, but the sound is clear. The JBL, the upgraded speakers, Bluetooth settings, car, uh, trip info. This is a new car. Um, energy flow. I think they could work on this graphics a little bit more. It's kind of very minimalist and customize the lights. See that climate utility back to the vehicle trip energy flow customize okay um, web browser if you connect it to Wi-Fi personal info Bluetooth device options um, general date and time keyboard language um, screen camera so this is just like in time and ambient lights so oh that's the thing so you, you, you can see here you can have um, white navigation uh, or like bright uh, we're close to the atoms in the Brussels but it's not really big they can zoom in too much and there you go um, so this is Google Maps but doesn't have satellite view I'm sorry the, the camera is fighting uh, I'm just going to go back to the uh, Um, where was it? Now oh, display. 
obviously, and then to the dark theme. Okay, here. I guess it's just a lot easier for your eyes. And um, sound and media. So you have your sound options here. Pause and read that. And FM internet or DAP radio. Um, navigation options, map display, traffic jams, show free traffic, flow route, guidance. traffic map updates and other vehicles uh, customization uh, lights this is like coming leaving home you can see climate options utility um, and info security software update so that was all. Um, I love the new infotainment. Um, it's fast and it looks better than the old infotainment that we used to have. And I like the fact, um, this is my eye level. So the screen, top of the screen is close to the bonnet. So when you're watching the screen, your eyes are closer to the road. Now let's move to the digital cockpit. Uh, once again, I'm not sure if the cars are connected to the 12 volt battery. So that might be the reason why they are uh, why you're having this uh, messages i'm gonna try to go through this options if we can but i think we cannot so we're in the white car uh, i just wanted to show you here so it says that the subscription has expired for the maps which is crazy so i guess you have to be paying for the maps in order to use them i just want to pay them once and not keep paying for the same thing uh, personally i don't like that uh, now to the uh, digital cockpit. So in this one, it works. So to show you the cockpit, so um, we have three displays. So uh, so let's start from the number one. So this is the number one, uh, number two, and then number three. Um, you can customize all of them. So you can uh, hold OK here and you use the arrows. Uh, so you can go up and down here so you can see settings and messages alerts maybe this is the distance and you have the settings here so if you get to the settings you can adjust the brightness uh, all the safety options and you have here vehicle settings you have to hold the ok button and then you have all of those return button and then meter settings language units and so on uh, pop-up display navigation phone and so on uh, there is there was a heads-up display in the other car I'm gonna cut it in as well now um, you can change uh, the settings here so once again hold and then you get the menu to change stuff uh, okay, uh, then you can go to the side, you can switch to the uh, consumption, it's crazy because the cars just move through the car show, and you can have like a minimalist, uh, um, then you can change to the right side, and also change here like compass, audio off, distance, and so on, or you can have it all minimal. So those are your display options. Now back in the uh, red car. Uh, as you can see, you have a different uh, view, so I haven't figured out how to change that. Uh, but uh, this one has the digital cockpit, so I'm not sure if it's tied to that. I'm going to zoom in, uh, excuse me, zoom in, and you can see here the uh, speed, uh, speed limit, uh, park eco power, and lane assist. I'm sure there's also with the navigation options uh, for that one. Uh, you can see here AC controls and you can see there's a little ambient light down there and uh, this kind of illuminates um, let me see if something changes here if I press not really and here you have low high but I don't think, don't think it's working at this right moment um, but yeah that's that's it and off so you can see uh, the mirror and then so this is the case. So you have a normal and okay. So in this case, that was 
not what I was expecting, so he's supposed to use it like this. Uh, where it acts like a standard mirror, and then when you push it up, and then you get this uh, camera. You can press here, you can control the brightness, and you can control the height. Uh, you can control the left or right, which is nice because the camera inside moves, and you can like use a tilt. You can zoom in or zoom out, and you can control, um, I guess, the light. There's maybe a little light there, I'm not really sure. But the gentleman was turning around, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, and you can see that on, it kind of dims uh, down. So that was the uh, Rev4, uh, very detailed review. And let's check what's underneath the bonnet. So I gotta say, I love where Toyota is going with the quality, with the options. It's just upgrading the whole thing. And let me see here where the opening is. So it's where the badge is. You have to push it to the left. It's underneath, you can see that. And here's your uh, engine, petrol engine. I believe it's a four cylinder, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't checked the spec yet. Uh, washer fluid is marked black and you can use the little leg if you want to keep it open. Let's leave it to drop. Now I like to show you the spec. So but a video magic, those guys are gone. I just wanted to show you this angle of the car. It looks pretty gorgeous. I love these lights uh, instead of the basic ones. Uh, this is on French, so 2.5 liter, uh, 360 excuse me 306 horsepower ECVT uh, GR Sport uh, 68,000 almost 69,000 euros and then maybe there's a discount on the car show uh, and to show you the turn signals uh, because the headlights are not working again they've taped them doing some photo session here of the booth so you can see Actually, there's a bulb in there, but you have these in LED, so I guess it's cheaper to replace. I have those turn signals, and then you can see the beautiful turn signals here. So tell me how do you like the new RAV4 in GR package? I'm going to turn on the lights later, and if you want to see more from Brussels Car Show, do subscribe and click the bell to get notified when I upload more videos. So just a little extra, the same package, same alloys, just white color. So, GR package. So everyone, thank you for watching. Be a cool person, smash the like button on the video, help the channel. Leave your comments below how do you like the GR package on the RAV4 and I'm gonna see you in the next one, hopefully. Bye.